Hi folks, this is uh, video 37 and the title is Last On, First On. Last On, First On. After graduating from AIT at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, we went to a couple of weeks of uh, jungle school in the snow. Mainly we learned about booby traps and interrogation techniques used by the enemy. We did some field exercises too. After about 10 days leave, Dane and I reported to McGuire Air Force Base, which is right across the road from Fort Dix, New Jersey. I ch we checked the manifest for our plane. As it turned out, I was last on the list for one plane and Dane was first on the list for the next one. We said our goodbyes and good lucks and headed for the planes. Mine was a Seaboard World plane. They only had two DC stretch eights. They held about 215 troops. It was March 4th, I think, when we left. First stop, San Francisco. We had a short layover to refuel. Second stop, Hawaii, again to refuel. It was 4 a.m., not much to see at that time. I went to the bar and ordered a Pepsi. I got a glass about the size of a toilet paper core filled with ice that cost four bucks. <laughs> I was not impressed. Next stop, Guam. I had a window seat. We were flying at 42,000 feet. As I was staring at the Blue Pacific, it looked like a small scratch on the water. I really focused on it and realized it was the wake of a ship. Halfway between Hawaii and the Philippines, there was nothing, and we hit a big air pocket. The plane dropped flat for 30 seconds. All 215 of us were weightless, and our faces were pressed up against the carry-on compartments. There have been incidents where people have had their necks broken in situations such as this. All I could do was ask God to put some air under that plane. They finally got the plane under control. The pilot came on and told us we dropped from 42,000 to 28,000 feet and we'd be regaining normal altitude again. If we crash from almost eight miles up, <laughs> they would find nothing. Each time we landed and opened the doors, it was noticeably warmer. 60 in San Fran, 75 in Hawaii, and now Guam was about 85 or so. Taking off at Guam was a little unnerving. We ran right off the end of the runway in a cliff. The plane dropped some and all I could see was rocks and surf. But we made it. Next stop, Benoit. They didn't advise us as to what a combat landing was. I guess they just wanted to surprise us. No circling the airport, no extended approach, just drop out of the sky making a hard left at the same time and landing. I, of course, was on the left side and got to watch the earth jump right up to me. We all stood up. When they opened the exit doors this time, we were almost knocked down by the heat blast. It was 120 degrees. That took a while to get used to, as it was 20 degrees when I left New Jersey. Now to find Dane. After finding my duffel bag, I went to the flight desk and asked when Dane's plane was coming in. I knew the number. The clerk told me it wasn't coming there. Crap. I asked where it was going. He pushed a few buttons and told me, Frankfurt, Germany. I missed going to Germany instead of Vietnam by one seat. Wow. Well, there were three other guys from my class on the flight with me. We found each other and actually ended up in the same unit. 34th Engineer Battalion, construction of the 20th Engineer Brigade in Phu Loi, South Vietnam. We were about 35 clicks northwest of Saigon in the Parrot's Beak area and pretty close to Cambodia. My three compadres in Vietnam were Greg Dixon from Delaware, Keith Boffman from Massachusetts, and Bob Aslin from Florida. They got assigned to A Company Motor Pool and because I could type, I ended up in uh, headquarters company and battalion typing ETS and uh, promotion orders. But I got special permission from the uh, battalion commander 
And whenever I got my order caught up for a day, I could go to A Company Motor Pool and work. I wanted to keep my skill levels up. We uh, changed engines and tractor trailers, head gaskets on bulldozers. And I would ride shotgun with Greg. He was signed a five-ton wrecker. I had to go out and pull in uh, disabled vehicles. So, that kept me pretty busy, along with guard duty every three nights. So that's about it, folks. All the best to everyone.